Hey everyone, hope you're doing good. Today I'm going to do a video that I have been looking forward to quite some time now. Going back maybe a month or two, I did this video where I was showing you how to get that vintage, rubbery, dead, awesome bass tone. So there are some important factors to get right to get that tone and probably the most important one is to have flat wound strings. And in that video I got a comment from someone telling me that I should try to do the same thing with nylon tape wound strings and that got me intrigued. It says here on the package take in the deep vintage tones and velvet smooth feel. Yes, that sounds good. So what I've done, I made a super simple drum track and a bass line. First, I want to record that bass line using regular flat wound strings on my Jack Cassidy bass. Then I will be switching over to these strings and we will see if we can hear any difference. And I will tell you if I can feel any difference here in the room using them. And yes, later in the video, I will play those clips back to back so you can really tell the difference between them if there's any difference at all. And by the way, when I'm recording bass, my signal chain is going from the bass to the Kali 76 stacked edition, really good for bass and then into my JHS pedals color box 2 for some preampy tones and then into my SRI 2 fluid audio interface. And also by the way check out my camera rig. How neat is that? Look at that lens and look at that camera. Ooh la la! <laughs> Hi there, so that was the normal flat wounds. Let's try with these. And of course, I will not throw away the strings that I have on the bass now. I will keep them forever. Slapping the bass. So by the way, people, it really helps if you could give me a like on this video and on my other videos if you watch those. It basically just helps me so that I can make more videos and more videos like this where I try stuff out that might be interesting to you. So yeah, please. And by the way, the strings seems more smoother than I expected them to be, which is a good thing. I thought maybe they were a bit more like hard plasticky but they are really smooth and I think I think we are going to hear some great rubbery tones from these. Check out these leather knobs. They are made by Faust Guitars. Check him out on Instagram. Let's tune up the bass and we should be good to go. To mix it up a bit, here's a blind test also. Can you tell which one is which? And also I want to know your opinions. Do you prefer flat wounds or tape wounds? I want to hear your thoughts on this before I say what I think.
there's not a huge difference at all but I would say that with the tape wounds I get the tone that I like, the dead rubbery tone. I'm getting like 10% closer to that tone using those strings but again it's not a huge difference at all. You can really uh, do with just flat wounds but also I think it was a really fun experiment and I'm definitely keeping those strings on the bass. Those will be on that bass for a long time that's for sure. If you are searching for that tone and you have followed all the steps in the first video that I made I think it's worth getting the tape wounds if you want to get a tad closer. If you can't afford it you will be fine with the flat wounds. It would be cool to compare this to a ukulele bass with you know the rubber strings I think that could take it to the next level. It would also be cool to have the same type of strings that you find on those ukulele basses on a regular bass. I've searched around I haven't been able to find them but maybe if you know about any strings like that let me know in the comment section down below. Again, please leave a like if you liked the video, buy my merch and you can also use my affiliate links down below if you want to support the channel. Thanks a lot for watching, you're the best, hope to see you in my next video, bye.